Moreau, Lovers from the Past, Guitar Tabs, Guitar Lesson. So I'll be arranging this in a drop D tuning, uh, mostly for just like the chord progression there. And we could start there uh, after we get our D, A, D, G, B, E, just take that low E, drop it down a whole step there. And we start here and I'm more or less just going to be messing with like the power chords of it. Um, if you want, you can do like the full chord, uh, initially be a C sharp minor. So I'm just going to do the 4A6 on the D and G. If you want to throw in that 5B, it's up to you. All right. And we're just kind of down strumming this right on tempo, like eighth note style. All right. And we come off to an A. So I'll do the open A, two on the D and G there. Same deal there. Make some use of this drop D for the F sharp minor, where here I'm just going to do the four on the D A D, and then here's where the drop D uh, helps. We drop down to an E flat or a D sharp at the first fret. All right, and the uh, the actual recorded guitar in the song uh, does this fun riff here. Um, start here at the four A. Then we go 7D, and we're just going to pick between the A and D string just like that. Walk the D down to 6, do 4A 6D. Keep going with the D string there to the 4, and then we just do 4A 4D. And then just as a little pick up into the next section, we hit the 6 on the A. Alright, so we went... And this next section here, it gets a little faint, a little tough to hear, uh, but for the most part, it's doing something like this where we go 4A, 6, open A, 7, open. And then we just start over. And now for the uh, synth parts, uh, kind of sprinkled throughout, they start layering up at points, but uh, the first synth in the very beginning, it just does this kind of muted single string eighth note picking here. Start at the fourth fret on the B, and we just pick this out, you know, probably a dozen times, maybe 16. Bump it up to the fifth fret for about eight. 7. And that just kind of cycles throughout the intro. You can really hear it in the intro, and it, it probably keeps going throughout the song, but it gets kind of buried. A second synth gets going here, kind of legato notes here where we're doing B string still. We'll do second fret, hold that, open, back to second, second again to four. And now for, I guess what you'd call like the chorus section, or just kind of like the uh, big interlude there where uh, this synth comes in. And it comes up high with it here. Kind of a fun, almost harpsichord sounding thing maybe. But uh, uh, we'll be here at the high E. We go 11, then 9B, and then we do this 9, 10, 9B. And it's basically repeated again with the 9, 9, 10, 9. So we went... Okay, we go 9E, back to the 11E, and then we s switch a little bit on the B, we go 10, 10, 12, 10, and then walk it back down to the 9, 9, 10, 12, and then just back to the 9 at the end, so slowly. After that first uh, chorus section there, we get a new synth that comes in, and it does this bit. B string here, we go two, four, open E, four. Hold that a moment, then we go two. And then here, it was it's kind of tough to hear, I couldn't decide which note to choose, so I just played both of them. Uh, we go seven on the high E, and a four on the B. 
and then just a two at the very end. You can just cycle that from there. 